what up what up welcome back to the channel i'm modi jay and we are locked in out on bail fresh out of jail new york dreaming Tariq is out on a million dollar bond now davis has a plan for Tariq, and it's very simple when you get out don't trust anybody don't talk to anybody what do we know about Tariq? He doesn't give a damn what is told to him. He's gonna do whatever he wants. And that means talking to everybody. But before we jump into this, shout out to the notification gang. If you're new to the channel, you wanna be a part of it. Hit the subscribe button, turn on your notification bell so you get something every time I upload. Hit that like button, it's the easiest thing you can do. Now, Tariq is out. He has to make some moves in these streets, but he needs to do it correctly. So let's jump into it, why Tariq shouldn't trust anybody. We all know Tariq was set up and framed for this murder. Now he did participate in the Jabari murder, but for Ramirez, he didn't have anything to do with it. Kane put the badge in the drawer. Now we know that Davis has been working his tail off to try to get Tariq off of this case. One, because that's money coming in. The more cases he does for Tariq, the more money he makes. And we know Davis is about Davis making money and trying to get his brother out. Now, Sax has been getting information from Jenny. Well, he's been taking information from Jenny and he's using it in all of these trials because he's telling Davis about it. Now, back to Davis. He couldn't get Tariq a bond at first just because it was a double homicide. Now, he needs to get some influence, which ended up being Tate. Now, let's jump into why Davis is telling Tariq that you don't need to be talking to anybody, especially while you're out on bail. Like any other high profile case, you don't want to talk to anybody about a case that's going on right now, especially if it's still being investigated and you're just now getting bond. Well, at this point in the show, he didn't get bond. So what they're telling him is we need to get that influence, which is Tate. Now, Tariq, you're in here for a double murder. We know that you're framed, but the best thing to do is just be quiet about it until we can start getting evidence and try to figure out who framed you. Now, this did draw a little disturbance and a, a separation between him and Braden, which I'm gonna break down also. But Tariq needs to know, hey, when you went to jail, just like he told Zeke, when you go in there, don't talk to anybody. Because what they do is, They'll have criminal informants. They'll have people trying to fish and get information from you that they can then in return use against you. Now, one thing about Davis telling Tariq, once he gets his ankle monitor, we know he's out on bond for a million dollars, meaning he had to put up a hundred thousand, ten percent. Now he's telling Tariq, don't trust anybody. Don't talk to anybody. Like I just told you, they could use this information against you. Now, what I'm seeing is when he told him that, with Sax being in the room, Sax has been fishing to try to get Tariq to confess to, hey, did you kill that cop? And Tariq is like, no, I didn't do that. You see Davis right here, he's upset with Sax. You don't ask our client that because if we know the truth, then we won't be able to put him on the stand. Now, Davis said, don't trust, what did he say? Anybody. This is kind of looking at, hey, you can't even trust Sax. Right now, Davis, he's kind of working with Monet to try to give her any information on the Tejadas for a million, I mean, for $500,000, I can see why he's doing it. But overall, Davis is collecting the most money from Tariq and he tells Sax that stop asking him them questions because that's how we make money. We know that Tariq is gonna get in more trouble. And <clears throat> what he meant by that is exactly what happened. Tariq went and told Effie, he went and told Braden the truth of what he's connected in, what he actually did. This is what he's saying. Tariq is going to get in more trouble, Sax. I don't want him to talk to anybody because I don't want the case to be harder for us to do. Because the more cases we win, the more clout we get, the more clients we're going to get. Oh, Davis is getting, uh, he got Tasha off of murder. He got Tariq off of double homicide. He got Zeke out. He got Lorenzo out. So right now, Davis is that guy. He's the lawyer in New York, but he wants Tariq to know, hey, bro, don't make this harder than what it has to be. Sax, do what we need to do so we can keep collecting money and make this easy. But Tariq is out here talking. I told you he told Braden, he told Effie. That's just more people that know his business that could be potential witnesses, someone that could take the stand if something went wrong. Now, I don't think Effie's going to do any snitching. Not right now. I mean, she did tell on Tariq earlier, but as of right now, she saw it. Braden, he saw it, but it's still, what about Lauren? When he talked to Lauren, she didn't want to come to the room, but right now she's trying to gain his trust back. He could eventually tell her, look, I didn't do anything with that. Cause what happened? That's exactly what he did. Oh, Braden didn't know anything about Jabari. He didn't, he wouldn't have anything to do with that. 
the watch recorded at all. Tariq is running his mouth too much. You can't talk to anybody, especially with all these eyes on you. The feds are watching. He got a burner phone to talk to Monet now, but he can't deal with her face to face because the feds are watching, which is why Effie is here. And that's why I don't think she's gonna snitch, but I'm gonna do a breakdown on her also. There you go. What do you think Davis is saying about this? Don't trust anybody, don't talk to anybody. Is it clear cut? Don't talk to anybody, even including Saks. Just talk to me about this case. And is Tariq really gonna follow these rules? We already seen he just slipped up. Is he gonna do it even more? Cause what did he do when he went to court? He told Monet everything about Drew, Diana, Kane, Tariq, you gotta shh. Zip it, brother. Don't say anything. But let me know what you guys think. I'm Mo IJ. If you like the content on the channel, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Jimmy on a beat, boy.